Carro. Hello my Cancer friends, it's Guiding Halo. This is going to be your reading for the month of April. Let's see what's coming in for you guys, shall we? What does Spirit want you to know? There's going to be wondrous events happening for you. It's almost like, I think this happened in your full moon on the 18th reading too. It's like a spiritual chakras aligning. Okay, well we have diligence, purification, going forward. So, purifying things, working with diligence, step one foot in front of the other. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys in April. Delight. Woo! Wow. Beautiful energy. You're going to be incredibly happy. There's something coming along that's going to delight and surprise you. I think you're stepping into new versions of your life. Yes, I believe so. New versions of your life. It's like finally feeling spring, feeling the birds, hearing the birds, feeling like it's a fresh new start, a fresh new day. And we have starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. Yeah, that's beautiful. There's going to need to be some change. I'm just saying. Opening to infinite possibility leaves your arms wide open for the divine to amaze you. You must take that leap of faith to create the new just as spring is a time for growth and step it up to the plate, getting things done, feeling lively, feeling abundant, excited about what can happen, all of these things. Great big love. Wow. Holy crap. My cancer friends, your heart full of love much. First week, second week, third week really putting the work in to have great big love to making that decision to create what it is you're here to create and deciding that love is the key to it all there's a heart chakra opening here there's wishes granted coming based on what your soul song is what is your soul song what is your soul desire most my cancer friends i think that might be the heading to this reading your soul song Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Amen to that. That is beautiful. So there's some sort of ancestral energy here, uh, healing the inner child. There's things that you have brought into this life when you came here through genetics and DNA that your family have been through. And perhaps there's certain fears, but the divine is saying it's time now to break the chain of these fears. Whether it's money, perhaps it's lack, perhaps it's love, perhaps it's I don't know if I can have these things, whatever it is. Whatever it is, take it as it resonates for you. There is this moment that comes in time where you break the chains. It's like the karma is over. It's undone. It can, or it's, it's done. It's finished. It's like you've gone down, you've gone down into the depths of you. You've grabbed your ancestors by the hand. You've pulled them up. And now you can all start from this level moving forward. It's like you've done the healing for even all the ancestors that came before you. This is beautiful and it's incredibly hard, hard work. I know it's incredibly hard work, but you've broken the chain. Perhaps there's a need to break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. You have the power to do this. Tell me about this delight. Tell me about this delight. Tell me about this delight. What is here to delight you? Tell me about this delight. Ooh, the Two of Cups. First week of April, my Cancer friends, you are up in your feels about love. You are up in your feels about joining with somebody. You are up in your feels about possibly moving. Uh, we have options. We have the new. We have you sing in a new song of excitement. Perhaps this, this is something you've created. 
something that happens at the full moon is very important here for you as we have the full moon and the two of cups k so the first week is really going to delight you i think there's some beautiful surprises in the emotional energy for you in the first week of april how beautiful is that delight very delighted about decisions made about things that are happening your heart finding a home i feel like someone's heart's finding a home opening to infinite possibilities someone is more like you than you ever expected there's a wish that's granted but it doesn't come without change open to infinite possibilities opening your arms wide and asking the divine to surprise you the high priestess really stepping into your intuition here becoming incredibly wise knowing that there is value in the weight. Now this could be you or this could be your person. This could be really embodying the intuition that says there are infinite possibilities. We don't have to decide on the basics of every little thing right now, but I'm open to the possibilities that anything can delight and surprise me. Tell me about this great big love. Wow, you guys are powerful this month so far. My cancer friends, you guys got it going on. Open to infinite possibilities. Tell me about this great big love. <laughs> Everything is unknown now, isn't it? The unknown card. This isn't the moon card. This isn't the cancer card. I think there's a lot of fear. I think you have a great big love that you may not have felt for a very long time. Whether this is love for a person, love for business, love for a situation, love for your job, love for whatever it is. It's the two coming together. It's divinely led. It's something that's coming together and the divine, it's like meeting up with somebody, a kindred spirit could be a really good friend having an intuitive nudge that this is more important in your life than you ever could have imagined. Yes, there's things unknown. We're going to put in the work, see what happens, see which way we're going to go. But look at that. Unknown and great big bug. We have a big old heart here. It's like you're holding the moon in the palm of your hands. It's like you're holding the unknown in the palm of your hands and you can create whatever it is you want to create with it. It's like you have a clean slate, a clear slate, a crystal, a crystal beautiful slate that is able to be written however you choose it to be written, which is why it says here about breaking the chain. You've broken the chain so you can write freely. You don't have to break the chains for anybody else now. Rewriting the future. It doesn't have to look like what you thought you didn't deserve. It doesn't have to look like what you thought the family said it should be. It doesn't have to look like any of that. It can absolutely look like what you just desire it to look like with open infinite possibilities and what will delight and surprise you. Look at that. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Pisces, my Cancer friends. Uh, Four of Pentacles, holding on tight. There's there's concerns about where to invest your money and finance. So I'm going to say that this breaking of the chain has to do with money and finance, about fear of having enough. Do I have enough to make whatever this is, this beauty that's in my life and this thing that's making me incredibly happy? Do I have enough to make a go of it? And the divine is here to say, break the chain of holding on to your money so tightly that you lose balance in your emotions. This is an ancestral pattern with you about money, about lack, about whichever. And the divine is asking you to have healing in this. You get to rewrite your future, but there's some sort of thing about it's better going it alone. That's what you've been taught. It's better going it alone. But the reality of the scenario is the divine's bringing in somebody so you don't have to go alone with, or you know, you don't have to go alone anymore. You can go, through life with whether it's a kindred spirit whether it's love whatever it is the divine has come i want to say i feel like this is you and this is your person and it's like you both embrace very beautiful feminine energy one is is from a place of pain and one is from a place of open chakra open higher higher chakra open openings, openness, openness. Their heart is on display. There's no secrets hidden. 
their heart is on display, open to infinite possibility. This energy for you, it, it could be vice versa, so take it as it resonates. The unknown card, great big love. If this is you, and you sense that this is all happening, but there's still a little bit of the unknown going on here. Chains need to be broken. Things need to be let go of the past of ancestral patterns. Tell me about this High Priestess card. I just saw the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the High Priestess card, please. Making a decision. Lots of things happening at once. Got to make a decision. Emotions are high. Trusting the divine as you move forward. Not seeing the pot here. Yeah, crying over spilt milk. The wheel of fortune spins. You see, when we have to make decisions, a lot of times we don't want to. A lot of times we feel like, you know, I, I don't know if I see the positive in taking this leap of faith or cutting somebody out of a circumstance or a situation so I can have the happiness I deserve. You know, sometimes we don't, don't see the positive in that at all. Someone's got too much going on, perhaps, you don't see the positive in. The unknown, all up in your head, a temporary self-imposed prison about this thing that's great big love that you have. Is it great big love or am I kidding myself? There's too much of the unknown. I'm not sure what to do. That's the third week. The second week, you're like open to infinite possibilities, but somebody's got to make a decision. Tell me about this two of cups in the first week. Delight, two of cups, happiness, surprise. Wow. Clarified by the two of cups. I wonder if there's two circumstances or situations that very well may delight you and there needs to be a decision made. There's some sort of toxic tie to what your belief set is about relationships. Perhaps your relationship to love, your relationship to sex, your relationship to your shadow side as well. It could be many different things. It could be deciding between two people, two relationships. But there is some sort of delight coming in. Oh, my eyes are itchy. I wonder if someone sees you a little bit too clearly for your liking and your 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 or you see someone else a little bit too clearly for their liking tell me about this break the chain there could be a virgo at present someone very wise sage energy wanting to move forward being able to shine a light forward for you to help break this chain of lack the fear of lack and bam, we have the Ace of Pentacles bringing in a new opportunity for you to step forward into. This is beautiful. Someone may be getting engaged by the end of April, seems. Someone may have a new job, be offering money, something. This is a huge opportunity based on all of the work you've done so far. This comes after, in my opinion, the King of Pentacles. Building a solid foundation financially and then the new thing happens. This is a beautiful reading, my Cancer friends. Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away the map you're using. Ancestral patterns. That's the map you're using. Which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that shows up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on, special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. I hope this reading resonates with you. Blessings to you.